Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at The Colonist. This is a currently building game being developed by Code by Fire. It has just hit Steam today. I'll have a link below if you'd like to check the thing out. Uh, so Settlement Builder, right? We have a game very inspired by something like The Settlers or Anna, where we are a bunch of sentient robots, self-replicating robots, that have decided that Earth is is not enough for us. We need to go out into the stars and settle a planet and build our very own base, complete with farms and, and houses and iron mines and lumber mills and watchtowers and and build a happy little place. It's a very relaxed kind of a colony builder, something where we can just sort of sit back and there's not really a lot of not a lot of, of, of terrible things that are happening to us. It's a peaceful kind of thing. Uh, but however, it does have a... you can do combat. I should say that. Um, I, I've already gone through the first two levels, very tutorially like where we're going to be teaching me how to push buttons. We're on level three now, however, and uh, once you hit this level, you have two choices. You can go to Happy Land and build some, uh, just explore the oceans and build some boats and, you know, whistle and whatever you do in a, a Happy Little City Builder game, but, or you can go to level four and meet someone familiar and features combat. This one, we have an, em an enemy base out there that we have to deal with. And so I figured we'd see that because it might be a little more interesting and, and uh, a little more exciting. So let's try it out. So this one comes out today. As, in fact, at the moment this video is live, the game should be live. And I'll have a link there to the thing. So here we come. Here is our uh, sentient robots in our sentient spaceship. Coming down the, lamp, the, the ramp. We're very happy about it. All right. Looks like you might not be alone on this planet. You should set up your colony and expand quickly. Okay. Got it. We have a uh, 3D printed thing here making robots over here. Our colony ship is producing energy and logs. Very slowly, but making that stuff, which we're going to use to get a bit of a head start on our colony here. Let's go ahead and zoom out and see what all we have here. We have ship, replicator, trees around us. we got an iron mine set up over here. we got some coal over this way. Uh, a bunch of trees for, uh, for logs that we can make. Some stone over this way. So uh, another iron mine that way. So let's go ahead and see what we have going here. We have an energy bar. Uh, it's telling me how much energy I'm making versus how much I'm demanding. Basically, everything uses energy to create logs or whatever. And so, let's go ahead and start off, though, with the way we they always start off with a lumberjack hut. I'm going to set it over. Um, let's go. There's not a lot of trees over here. Let's go. Let's stash it, like, over this way. I'm going to put it over here. Like that. Okay. Now, as for the roads, this game has an interesting way of, of doing the roads. It's very... It's almost like a Factorio kind of a automation system. We'll see it when it comes out. So we got a road start here. So we're going to go down a bit. And each of these posts you'll see are a uh, kind of an important thing. Each of these posts are going to contain a robot spot. Robot hauling spot. So uh, and eventually you can, we can build like trains and things. But for now... It's just us and uh, and some roads. I'm just going to go all around it. We know roundabout style. We're going to go around this thing. Something like that. We'll go around here and something like maybe over that way and then over there. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and let the game go. Now, we're going to see a bunch of robots getting getting created now. We got Christine getting getting created. We got uh, uh, Angelia. And they're going to come in here and they're going to stand in these points. And so when things need to get hauled around, like this uh, this lumber for this lumber yard, which we can build a path going just to right there to connect it up, we'll have somebody. We got Carrybot Theodore, who's hold. Oh no, we got who? Are, where are you? Where is um? There's a build bot coming this way. Build bot Janelle is heading this way. You can see they're hauling the logs, and then they're gonna take them from point to point, just toss them back and forth, and getting them hauled over this way. And we're using that to build this. We need two logs to build our Lumberjack hut, and we will get the thing built, and then Lumberjack Man will come out and start working on this. Now, we also want to get several things. We want to get, um, well, we'll see. This thing needs logs to work. It also needs energy. It needs trees and energy. To get energy, we're slowly making it at our ship, but we want to get more, so we want to go build a house, a residence. And I think what we'll do is we'll just set up a bunch of houses kind of along the way here. We'll do, like, uh, we'll do three of them. That's probably fine. Now, each of these houses, once they get built, they need two logs. They're going to come out here. Um, they are going to need water and food. These are interesting robots. Robots that eat water and, and food. Uh, they need that to turn that into energy, which gets made like turns into little batteries, which we haul into the various places. So let's make a well for water. 
I'm gonna stash it right over here. We'll probably be fine right across the street. We need to connect the road up. We'll just do it with a uh, simple path right there. And we're also gonna need food. Now food's kind of tricky. Food is, uh, there's only a few ways of making food. And there is fishing huts, which obviously there's no fish on the land here, and a sheep farm. Sheep farms take up a lot of space, but they make a lot of fish, or a, a lot of food. So we're gonna go and throw it down right here, I guess. Okay, so now at the sheep farm, we have 50 sheep pastures we have to place out. Something like, like this. This is where the sheep, you can see we're using it there. And they're filling up all this land with, with sheep. I'm just gonna do 19 for right now. We'll do more in just a second. Uh, we can also autofill and it automatically fills it out there. But that's gonna create the wood. It's gonna take, uh, where is it? It's gonna take... It's gonna, it's actually, sorry, this doesn't take anything. It just takes sheep and turns it into meat, which gets hauled into my houses, which creates energy, which gets hauled over to various things like the lumberjack to make things. Okay, so that's been made. There we go. Uh, she's actually over here chopping trees down because we've we've reached our, our edge here. So let's do something about that. We have a watchtower we can make, which we can squeeze in right over here, which is what I had in mind, but I can't get a road through there if I do it this way. I did that poorly didn't die. Um, I can stash it over there. So as you can see, when we place the tower, it gives us a, uh, a range of, of building. Um, well, let's just stash one over here for now. We can work our way to the stone. We'll figure out what we're going to do the other. But we'll put one there, and we'll stick another one over... I guess that'll work actually right back there, because then that gives us this, the, uh, the ore also. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So once those get made, they'll expand our range, our, our build range. Build that up there, we'll get a little path going like that. Uh, we can only connect these points, we can't put it, there's no point there, so we can't connect points that way. These guys are wanting food, which is slowly getting made. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's not made, not made yet. Is that what's going on? Oh no, she's there. What's going on over here? Expand your sheep. I know. I know. I need more. I need more sheep. I understand. It'll, it'll expand in a minute. So meat will get hauled out of here eventually, and get taken to this place. You can see this water already here, waiting to get hauled in. They get pulling it from the well, taking it over to the houses to make some energy, and uh, eventually we'll we'll get there. I can, I can do that. that's about as much as I can get right now. Once this gets made, we can we can we can prioritize it. Get that made first. Make our sheep farm a little bigger. All right, so let's see what else we need here. We have, the camera does this bouncy around thing, which I don't know how to turn off, uh, but it's kind of annoying. So let's go with, let's see, we got the farm so we can research plenty more things if we want to. Uh, we do want to get a, we have a, a lumber mill. We need to get a, uh, uh, something to make planks, which is gonna be the sawmill, which we can squeeze over here somewhere. We'll just stash it like right here. The log's gonna come in here, so we might as well stash it here, I suppose. Meat has finally been created. That's getting hauled out now. I'm gonna get taken into the houses. Uh, good job, Lumberbot. And that'll get turned into a sawmill, which we need stone for that, which we don't have any stone, but we're about to. This, I think, will reach maybe a little short, actually. Uh, and we'll get some a stone thing set up. Crank up the speed here just a minute. And we'll get a uh, we'll get a, a forester also to help us with the trees. Because she's over here working. I'd rather her just stay back here and get some work done. Tower is done. Someone's gonna come in here. We got uh, Demarcus is in here now. We've expanded our territory. We can actually get all kinds of things grabbed, and she's back grabbing these furs. Zula, Zula the uh, the lumberjack. Let me go build a forester. I'm gonna stash it right here, like that. Now I want to get a road going back this way. We're gonna start expanding into this land, like that. There we go. Okay, we've got some, a tiny bit of stone. We've got a tiny bit of, of room over here. Let's go and build. Wrong button. Build a road. I'm going to go around this way. We'll go out, and then up this way. And we'll go... Where to put our, Where should we put our tower? Put another tower over this way. Let's get, let's get a bunch of towers. Right there on the edge? Sure. Put one there. Uh, anything over here that we want? I don't think so. What are you crying about? 
Oh, oh, I have to tell you where where to, to regrow. So I want you to regrow trees this way. Just everything everywhere over here. Fill this all up with trees. Something like that. I actually don't want you to go here. This is where our road's going to be. Okay, there we go. All right, so you plant trees over there. Uh, sheep farm, I want you to do your sheep thing and auto place. There you go. Uh, I can go prioritize this if I wish. I'd rather actually have you go maybe a little more, a little more reasonable, like, you know, square. Like that. I'm going to fit more. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's see how we're doing. We can take a look at, so we can see we're very short on logs. Logs are terrible. We are producing nowhere near as many as we need. So let's make another lumber hut. I think it's probably what we this is trying to tell me to do. So let's make one of those. Can I squeeze one in right here? No. I can I can put it over here. We might need another watchtower over here. There's trees in the way. Uh, let's do one that there, and we'll put another watchtower this direction, like that. Um, I'm gonna put a road, a path going to there, and then we're gonna put a road. It's going to go across that way. Like that. Okay. That'll help us get more trees. We need lots of wood. Because all we're going to have to get hauled to our sawmill. Which we'll get in a minute because we got to get a stone mine over this way. So let's go do that. All kinds of things to do. I'm going to crank up the speed here in a minute. So we can see more of this game. Let's go do that. And let's put in a, uh, a road over here. So the, the first couple of missions I played, were, yeah, they're, they were very, uh, very laid back. Very, I mean, this one is too. Sit back. There's, there's not really a way of failing. There may be with a combat on this one. I haven't seen the combat yet, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. I know it involves watchtowers somehow. When you upgrade to like a level 2 watchtower, then you can start getting... Um, start firing, I guess. Let's build a... Um, speaking of, we need a workshop. This is going to, to uh, give us tech. I'm going to cram it in. I'm going to stash it over here, just kind of on the edge. Can I put it there? No, it's in the way. I don't want to be in the way of that mine. We can flip it over here and then flip it. That'll work. Okay. So this is going to give us some technology. We can do some research. We can learn how to make better buildings. We can eventually get our houses to upgrade. As you'll see down here, there's multiple levels of levels of, of energy. Some buildings need better energy to, to create. We need a short on logs, short on stone. We're just short on everything. Uh, how's the food situation looking? We're producing. We are, we're, we are producing enough. We've got plenty of food. Four per day. We only need three per day. To keep our colonists happy. Uh, water. We are not producing any at the moment, but we... Yeah, we are. We have enough. We just don't have it hauled around. Okay, so water's in good shape. Uh, we could probably use more residents. More residents mean more, more energy, which means more things can get done quicker. Please stop bouncing me around like that. What do you want? It's, it's like alerting me to things that are... To, to problems, but it's fine. Just build a thing. All right, I would like... Uh, first off, the forester. Uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. Um, I'm going to go build more houses. This is going to increase our food needs and our uh, water needs and all kinds of other needs. I'm going to go something like... Leave our houses over here. Three there. We're going, we're going crazy with the houses. Let's get crazy. Alright, so I want to put... Now, it's kind of a problem because I have this thing right here. And I, I think I can, I can move it. Building road, hold control, and click to fix waypoint titles the road you're placing. But I can't really do... I can't do it here, so... We're gonna have to just have a path going through there. Hopefully that doesn't cause too much of a bottleneck. That, that's what we want? Yeah, sure. <laughs> that, that, that's fine. That's fine. So we can, we're gonna have a carry bot right here, and then it'll just... People cruising through here. So it's gonna be maybe a little bit of a slowdown, but since it's houses, I'm hoping it's not too bad. Uh, wait, Mari's... Watchtower is now occupied. Yeah. There's Mari. There we go. Now we can get some more stone cranked out here. And I think my stone deposit just got made. So my stone miner. Here comes Axe Bot uh, Hallie. Coming to get some stone. There we go. Now one thing we could do also is we can set up stockpile lands. So everything right now is getting hauled into here and getting hauled out of here. Um, I think maybe we should set up like a big stockpile area. Kind of, I'm, I'm going to guess build, start building kind of over this way. So let's put in... Stockpile place. There's, by the way, there's boats and uh, and trains that we can put down. Did I say that yet? Uh, put a storage yard, a large storage yard. If I can fit it, I cannot. I can fit one here of like lumber, I think. Put a small one in. We'll squeeze one in over here of I don't know wood. I'm uh, sorry, food. And we'll stick one over here of, of something like water. 
just to have a nice stockpile of things. We need one probably of stone as well. Maybe this will be wood and stone. So they can take the excess, rather than just leaving it over there, we can have it kind of centralized in the uh, in the base. Workshop. Uh, work build a workshop. Prioritize that. We need stone. So it's getting hauled, getting hopped around. Eventually it's going to make its way over here. I think these these uh, these roundabout systems seem to be the way to do this, as as roundabouts always are. Okay, I want you to um, make more. You come across another. Whoa, wait, whoa. come across another robot colony. They do not look friendly though. Level two watchtowers can attack nearby hostile watchtowers with arrows. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll do that then. More trees. Where? Oh oh, there they are. There they are. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to see them. Let's go look at them. Watchtower? Yeah, let's put a watchtower, um... We'll put one... There. And we'll put one over here, I guess. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go peek. Hopefully we don't make them too angry. Oh, they're growing. Again, I would like this to connect up. Um, that, that's kind of kind of terrible. Okay, so we need to watch towers done. Let's go ahead and prioritize that one. Sure. Okay, now we have a stockpile done here. We can tell it what to put in here. This is the little guy. I'm gonna put food, meat, in this one. We'll do meat and uh, and water in here. Let's just supply the houses that are right over there. So add uh, water and and meat. So that's what that one's gonna hang on to. Um, the big guy will put something like wood and stone into, and... Oh, workshop is done. Where is it? Over here. So, workshop, you do research. Alright, so we have different levels of, of workshops. We got level one, two, and three. Uh, they each do different things. They, like, level one will eventually get me to construction one, which allows me to make better houses. Uh, level two gets me, um, the ability to do, like, iron mines and things. We can also learn to start making wheat farms and, and animal husbandry eventually with level two. So, but to get to level two, we need to have better houses, which require um, a better source of energy. Better houses make the level two of energy, which we need construction one for. Okay, research construction two, construction one. Got it, game. All right. So, how's the food situation looking? It's looking a little short. We have zero right now. We have nowhere near enough. So, uh, let's get another sheep hut, I guess. We can stash it. We'll put it in here. This, it's probably not quite enough. I wonder if I can rearrange this. Hang on a minute. One second, game. What if I do this and put the road, like, around this way? Or we put the farm there and make the road go out a little more? No, we'll do this. This way. And then you're going to go... That, so it's not... Well, it's going to be wasted space. Uh, not completely wasted, I guess, if we do that. And then around, like, that... Not really that efficient. Let's go just straight across. Can you do that? I oh, can't quite reach. There we go. Okay, and we'll put a farm in here, a sheep farm, giant sheep farm. We'll go into here. We'll put it uh, over on this side because the food is going to be collected over here, right? So we'll stick the farm thing there and then all the sheep will go in here okay yeah let's remove some of these and make it more over this way like that uh, okay finish okay there we go so they're building a watchtower there too um, what happens if our territories like? Let's prioritize that just in case. What happens if our territories like expand, uh, expand over each other? I want that iron mine, so I want mine first. Yeah, build that one first. It's take a little while for us to get over there. But if we can like, can grab that, that would be good. Number two is done. Which what was I gonna put in this one? This one was supposed to be. Um, I don't remember. So we have the we have food and water on this one. We'll have stone and wood over here. We'll have maybe planks over on this side. Planks can go in there, and... I don't really have anything else. I mean, there's, like, leather and iron. There's all kinds of things we can eventually get, but we don't have them yet. Uh, beer. 
we don't have any of that stuff just yet. Oh, and energy. Let's stash some energy in there. There we go. Okay. How you doing, buddy? Just need some logs, and they're getting hauled over there. That one's been done already, so we'll get that one expanding in a moment. This one's nearly done. They're working on theirs, too. How are we doing as far as everything else? So water is... Uh, water's a little low also. Let's get a... We do need a, a, a well in here somewhere. So let me put one of those in. Stash it in. There we go. Ours is done now. Rotate this thing. There's some water. Oh, did we push back their, their stuff? Can I build another water? No, another one? Can I put one over here? Yeah, go there. Um. Do that, and then... Oh, we're burning them down? Are we doing that? Okay, and then we'll do a road going... Sure, like that, I guess. Uh, we'll do a path. We need to make sure we get into that mine. We may have to do some redoing whenever we get that mine built. Did we just do that to them? Oh, Ooh, they almost pushed back on me. So they're now no, no, they're not burning. Territory gained. So we make sure we get. Oh, is that my watchtower? No, that's theirs, isn't it? This is mine. Prioritize that. Is this our? Is this like our fight? Is this how we fight? Um, let me put in another watchtower. We need to get some better. Oh, they're doing it too. Okay. It's just a, it's just like a land competition. Sure, I can do that. Um, prioritize that one too, I guess. I want this one most. Okay, yeah, get those logs hauled over there. How are we doing on logs? Uh, they're still pretty short. We're also short on planks. We need more logs. Let's get a, uh, a lumber hut over here. Let's put in a... This is much more frantic. That's how that plays out than, uh, than the <laughs> other modes. Let's put one right here. And we'll put a road going this way, like that. Um, and do we have research? No, we're good. We're just waiting for planks to come in, which are going in. What's this? What's going on over here? Is there a um, some sort of blockage going on over here? There's tons of logs in here. Oh, you're going too slow. Everyone's going too slow because of all this house stuff. You're trying to go to the sawmill. That's where the problem is. So we gotta get these logs hauled around quicker. And I don't have any way of doing that. We can go behind here though and maybe have a second road come around. Maybe come around and meet up this way. Remove the, remove the sheep a bit. Let's um, you um, stop bouncing me around. Uh, you lumberjack, I want you to prioritize. Oh no, not that. Uh, I want you to. Make sure you mine this out. Like that. And I want you to not grow here. Because I'm going to get a road going back here. Eventually. I'm also going to tell you to get rid of some of your sheep. Sorry. I can also build a tower and make that a little better. But we'll just do that. Um, and then let's get a road built this way. Like that. And we'll keep on going around here. Once those get chopped, we can put them in there. There's no way of removing it without chopping it that I know of. Okay, how's it looking over here? We are building ours. We should push back against theirs, I guess. And we'll focus on that one as soon as this one's done. This one's almost done. Um, I want to get the tech. How are we doing here? Planks! I need planks! I wonder if I should build my sawmill over here. Watchtower complete. That's this one. So, uh, Frank or whoever should go into Prince. Oh, it's Prince. Prince is going to go over there and save the day. Okay, good. Get over there, Prince. How's the stone looking? Uh, complete, yep. Yeah. Thanks for bouncing me over there. I really like it. What's this? Blocked roads. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Uh, you know, there's a tech, actually, to deal with roads. Maybe that's what we need to be doing. Uh, no. I want you to carry logs. 
and stone. Maybe that'll help out. Oh, oh, we did it. We, um, we got it. Oh, no. They burned my watchtower. Okay, well, let's build another one. Wait. Oh, I, I, too near other military, but oh, I can't build over here. I can build over here. I guess we'll stash it in as far, as close as we can get it. Right over there. Okay, okay. We get a road back there. Like that. Um, Nathaniel, how's it going? You were chopping those trees? You need more energy. Which we are, um... Either not getting produced or not getting it cranked out fast enough. No, we're not... No, we potentially could make more. We're just not getting it cranked out enough... And it may be a shortage of water or food. Let me see. Water's fine. Food appears to be fine. I think it's just a bottleneck here. The sheep farm is starting, starting to create some food. So we'll get some food cranked out of there. They get hauled over to the houses. I wish I had... Oh, you're milling one too. I'm going to prioritize this. Build one over there. Um, I build one there too. Is that going to push back on me? Workshop is done. I want to make... Hang on, so many things. Uh, I want you to work on research. I want to work on this one. So masonry. Get that done. Okay. Well, we probably need to put a cut in this. This is getting kind of frantic. We, I'm going to do another episode of this, though. I want to see what else we can get done. Um, so thanks again for watching. Again, this is The Colonist. It's available on Steam now. I'll put a link below. And I'll try to figure out... If, there's no options in here to... Uh, this alert thing that's bouncing me around. Not that I have found anyway. To get it to where it stops... You know, shooting me over to whatever is happening. So, uh, and I do have the game on, on, um, where is it? A screen? Quality. I do have it on, on max quality. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.